Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy. Today's quick tip is an Adobe Media Encoder 2023. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create encoding presets to make it fast and easy to export your videos in the format that you want from applications such as Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. First, make sure that you have Adobe Media Encoder downloaded from the Adobe Creative Cloud app. Once you have it downloaded and installed, open up Adobe Media Encoder. For this tutorial, I am using Adobe Media Encoder version 23.0.1. To create a preset, there are a couple different ways you can do so. The first way, if you come up to the top menu, click on Preset, then select this option here, Create Encoding Preset. There's also a keyboard shortcut, Command or Control N. You can also create a preset if you come down here into the Preset Browser. Just right click anywhere, either on System Presets or User Presets in Group, and choose Create Encoding Preset, or click on this little plus icon right here to create a new preset, and choose the first option, Create Encoding Preset. So I want to create a preset for 4K videos that I upload to YouTube. To do so, I'm gonna come down to the Preset Browser, I'll click on the plus icon, and choose Create Encoding Preset. I'll give the preset a name, YouTube underscore 4K. For the format, I'll keep it at H.264. I'll click on based on preset. So I'm just gonna come down here and locate the YouTube preset. There's one for 4K, so I'll select that. You can leave a note about the preset in the comment section. You can decide whether you wanna export video only, audio only, or both video and audio. You can fully customize the preset that you selected. And when you have your preset set up the way you want, just click OK. You'll find your new custom preset under the user presets and group. There's that YouTube 4K. And you can right click on it and choose preset settings and make any changes you want. You can click and then click again to rename it. You can select your custom preset and click the minus key to delete it. You can also right click right on your custom preset. You'll have some other options here. Maybe you wanna duplicate it and create another similar preset. You can export it if you wanna share it with others. You can reveal it in your finder to see where it is in your hard drive. And to use your new media encoder preset. Here I am in Adobe Premiere Pro. I'm gonna to go to the export tab. Rather than having to go through all this and figure out what settings I want, I'm gonna come down to the bottom right corner and click on send to media encoder. Now go back to Adobe Media Encoder, go to the queue, and there you will see the sequence that you just exported from Premiere. Go to the preset column, click on the dropdown, and select your preset that you want to use for this video. You can also come down to the preset browser, locate the preset that you want to apply to this video or this media file, just click it, drag it right on top of it, and there you will see that preset is automatically updated if you're not sure you want them, just click on the preset, make any adjustments, click on the output name, choose where you want to export the file, I'll just save it to the desktop, click OK, and then just click on the little green play button, and that is gonna process everything that's in the queue. So I'll click, you'll see a little progress bar up here, you'll see a progress down here. When a media file is finished encoding, you'll see this little green check mark, you can click on the link for the output file. That's gonna take you to the exported file where you can preview it. To re-export a completed file, you can just drag on the same preset or another preset. You'll see it changed from complete to ready. Then just click on the green play button to start the queue. And to delete any files from the queue, just select them. You can tap on the minus key or just tap on the delete or backspace key on your keyboard. And that is how to create encoding presets in Adobe Media Encoder 2023. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.